You are now listening to Scheduling Fate, hosted by author and counseling astrologer, Jamie McGee. For more information, please go to schedulingfate.com. Hi there, and welcome to Scheduling Fate. Today, we're going to be talking about the week of February 23rd through the 29th. Before we take a look at each sign, we'll get a quick overview of the transits that we'll be working with this week. So this week, we do have Mercury moving into Pisces. And Mercury in Pisces symbolizes a time when communication and thought processes take on a more intuitive or empathic or creative nature, but it could blur the lines between thoughts and feelings as well, creating a heightened imaginative energy or even a sensitive energy that you work with, like you pick up a room when you walk into it. You could be drawn to some more artistic expressions or hidden meetings or understandings. A lot of nonverbal communication could become a thing for you. And it could lead to some issues between logical thinking and decision making because you are dialed more into the emotion or the compassion of the collective. So that's something to keep in mind. We'll talk about when we move through the signs as well. This is also a full moon week, which I'm sure you're already starting to pick up that vibration. The full moon is in Virgo, and a full moon in Virgo highlights the need for Virgo things, order, practicality, efficiency. It's a phase where it really encourages you to focus on the details, your health, your daily rituals, your habits, how you help others day in and day out, and how you help yourself. It's a great time for self-improvement and critical analysis and thinking about how you can perfect or adjust things that will help you improve. Now, because this is a full moon, You should be seeing a culmination of this. Something from the new moon intentions that you've set. You're like, oh, now that this is illuminated, I love what I see here. I'm going to double down on that. Or now that this is illuminated and I can see that, I need to change that. But as always, no matter what sign the moon is in and it's full, there will be some heightened emotion. So just take a deep breath, take a step back. Don't be hard on yourself. There is no such thing as perfection, only the pursuit of it, which is a journey that we are meant to enjoy. Now, adding a little bit of spice and edge to this week is Mars and Venus are going to both square Jupiter. And what's interesting about this is all of these planets are in energies that are fixed. They don't really like change in general. But this aspect creates a bit of tension between that desire of for innovation and the need for stability. So we're talking about Mars and Venus in Aquarius and Jupiter in Taurus. Mars and Venus in Aquarius encourages a lot of progressive approaches and thoughts. However, Jupiter in Taurus seeks the comfort, the traditional values, the material security that we all love and need, which could lead to some conflicts between that urge to break free from traditional norms, that's Aquarius, and the desire to maintain a sense of security and predictability, which is Taurus. Now, the resolution requires a balancing of these energies by integrating stability with change and tradition with innovation, and it can be done. We just need to be creative. Now, another energy that we're working with this week is it's almost like there's a party in the Pisces sign. We have Mercury and the Sun that are going to meet, and then Mercury and the Sun are both going to meet up with Saturn as well. So let's kind of break these down a little bit. It's a complex astrological aspect that blends a lot of communication, ego, and discipline with an intuitive and empathic nature of the Pisces archetype. The alignment is going to emphasize a lot of deep reflective thinking that can lead to some serious and contemplative communication. Like you think about it in a deep way, you communicate it the same way. The sun's vitality combined with Saturn's restraint can manifest as a focused drive towards spiritual or creative pursuits, but it may also bring feelings of limitation or self-doubt. And we do not want to feed that self-doubt. We want to feed the inspiration and that sense of calling that we have within us. Now, Mercury's presence enhances introspection and the sensitivity in all expressions. It's going to urge some careful thought before we speak. And I do encourage you to think before you speak or listen more than you speak with this energy, because it could be a time when you have a lot of ideas and they're spilling out of you and they're deep and they're profound and you're not understanding why someone's not receiving them, but they're walking in the same energy and they're just as frustrated that they're not being heard. We want to use the lights of the sun, the Saturnian structure and discipline and the ability to communicate to make a lot of compassionate headway with this energy. All right, with that being said, let's get ready to dive into the signs. Please be sure to listen to both your sun sign and your rising sign. Hi, Pisces. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Pisces, your top three focuses are going to be one, your vitality, two, relationships, and three, closure and new beginnings, bringing something out into the open. Now, let's talk about why. 
Now, for the most part, a lot of the focus and energy for you this week is more outwardly focused in the public areas of your life, how you express yourself, your partnerships, and your home work-life balance. But there is a little bit of edge behind the scenes. So that the edge behind the scenes is something that you've been working on for a couple of weeks now. There's something private that you are trying to process. There's an ending and a beginning, and you're trying to bring it out into your local environment, into how you communicate in general. Now, the problem is what you have back there, what you've been working on is a little bit progressive, and you're not sure that it's going to fit into how you already communicate or what's already worked for you. But I think there's a middle ground that you can find. You want to find a way to respect both sides. But you don't want to ignore either one. It's a point of action, not a point of suppression. We don't want to suppress anything. Now, the good news is that when it comes to communication, as Mercury moves into your sign this week, you're going to find a way to communicate that feels natural to you. Maybe you don't need a lot of words to express what you're trying to say to others. You can feel your way intuitively into how you can bridge this space between what you're trying to share and what is what's not really out there in the world yet. Now, we also have a lot of concentrated energy in your sign in general this week. There's a lot of ideas that are going to be coming from you once Mercury moves into your sign. The sun is still shining all over you and touching every corner of your life. And these energies are going to meet with Saturn, an energy that you've been working with for a while now that's all about systems and structures and boundaries. So you may find yourself considering what boundaries are needed and what boundaries need to be revised as you begin to bring more ideas out into the world. Now, this is a full moon week. It's going to be a very heightened emotional week in certain areas, topics of details and what has worked, what are the little things that have worked to get us to this big grand picture that we have. And for you, this is focused a lot on your partnerships, your one-to-one connections, which which flows into how you communicate day in and day out, even the dream you have, as well as that home work-life balance. Definitely celebrate what is working, what you love about this. And make notes of what you don't like. You have plenty of time to adjust as you go forward. Awareness is the key to everything this week. So be as aware and as present as you can. And be sure to follow your intuition. I hope you have a good one. I'll see you next time. Hi, Aries. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Aries, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, your overall mind and body balance, things behind the scenes. Two, networking, your dreams and ambitions. And three, what's important to you, your values. Now, a lot of the energy that we're working with this week is potent behind the scenes. You're still working on wrapping up your year, getting ready to move into your new birthday year. You're understanding what needs to end and what needs to begin. And you're going to have a lot of support with that this week as Mercury moves into Pisces. You're going to really dial into that intuitive nature and understand, oh, this does feel like it's still on fire for me or no, I need to adjust this. There's going to be a lot of ideas, a lot of inspiration. I encourage you to follow anything that feels like it sits right with your soul. We have Mercury and the Sun and Saturn all having a conversation in this area of your life. So it's a great time to think about what boundaries you need to dissolve, which ones that you need to put into place, and how you can have a healthier overall mind and body balance so every area of your life feels well supported. Now we have a full moon this week, which is going to amplify the work, the rituals that you do, what you have to do day in and day out. So you may find yourself concentrating on some details, the little tiny things that lead to big things. Celebrate any win that you have here. Notice how the little things matter. And anything that you don't like, that's when you want to make plans to adjust it over the coming weeks. Now, there is a little bit of tension that you're going to work with this week, and it has a lot to do with your dreams, your ambitions, the network of people that you associate with and what your values are and what's important to you. And there's a component here about your dreams or this network or this connection that you have that is very progressive. It's forward thinking. It's just a little bit outside the box, a little bit extraordinary. And you have a lot of drive and compassion and just heart focused in this area. But it's a little bit of conflict or on an edgy point when it comes to the values that you have already established. So in a sense, you're not really sure if you should chase the dream or go with the group because it could go against what you've already built. It may not be safe when it comes to your security. But I think there's a way to do both. You want to honor your traditional values and you want to ensure that they are growing, not necessarily with the times or the community, like you're echoing what's already out there, but growing with the person that you are growing into because you're going through a lot of changes too. So I'd keep that in mind and I think you're going to find a great solution if you do so. I hope you have a great week. I'll see you next time. Hi, Taurus. Let's take a look at your week. 
Now, Taurus, your top three focuses are going to be one, networking, your dreams, your associations, two, what you're passionate about, what you love without condition, and three, an overall home and work-life balance. Let's talk about why. All right, so there is an intense focus around a network, a dream that you have, people that you associate with, and how this flows into what you're passionate about this week. When Mercury moves into this area, a lot of intuition and gut feelings should help guide you towards something that feels more aligned. The thing is, there's going to be a lot of ideas that flood in when this first happens. So you want to follow the ones that feel most aligned with who you are, not necessarily with the group that you are associated with. And having Saturn in this mix or this conversation will help you understand where you need boundaries, where you need to release them. At times you could feel isolated, at times you could feel inundated. But remember that Saturn always isolates you before the elevation comes in. So if things are being removed or if your thoughts are taking people away or inviting you to put distance, there's a reason for that. And it doesn't mean that the situation is over. It just means that new establishments, new boundaries that are compassionate to both sides may need to be established. Now, we also have a full moon this week that is opposing this area. And it's all about what you love without condition. These could be your children, children of the mind, your businesses, your passions, your relationships, something that you care a lot about. And you may notice this week that a lot of little things add up to big things. That's what this full moon is going to celebrate. And I want you to celebrate those things. And you all may also notice that you feel overwhelmed by the details, or you may feel like if I had done just a little bit more, I would be just a little bit further. But you don't want to be hard on yourself with this energy. You want to celebrate what is working. You can always make plans to adjust otherwise. Now, there is a little bit of a tension that you're working with this week that might be more noticeable than everything that we've already mentioned, and that's because of where it's happening in your chart. There's this point in your reputation, how you're known in the world that is innovative, a little bit progressive, just, you know, leading people into a new way of thinking. And right now you have a lot of passion there. You have a lot of heart in your relationships where it comes to leadership or even with leadership in your life. But it's a little bit in conflict or activating this growth or this new beginning that you have when it comes to your own self-expression. So when we have a square, the invitation is to take action and we want to take positive action. We want to find a way to bring in those innovative ideas and help support the traditions or something that feels stable and secure, feels like it's who we are supposed to be. Now, that doesn't mean we don't want to lean into our growing edge. We always want to lean into the growing edge, but we don't want to do something so extreme that it takes who we are away from the situation. So kind of walk with those questions this week and ask yourself, is this something that I can still be myself as I grow into? Am I ready to grow into that? And I think it'll help you make some healthy decisions and lean into the opportunities that you have because there will be some opportunities to work with as well. I hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Gemini. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Gemini, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, your reputation and your purpose, two, home work-life balances, your foundations, and three, your convictions, your beliefs, and a bit of transition, what needs to end or change or begin. Now let's talk about why. Now there's going to be a heightened focus for you when it comes to your overall home work-life balance. We have Mercury moving into an area of your life that supports your reputation, your sense of purpose, and how you are known in the world. So there's going to be this intuitive power, this different way of thinking and approaching all corners of your life that you're going to be able to lean on. And it may feel like a flood of intuitive ideas that you can lean on right as this energy kicks in. But you also have this component of Saturn right there in the conversation at the table. And Saturn's asking you, well, what boundaries do you need? What boundaries should you take away? How can this really support you not only today, but in the long term? And how does it impact your home and work-life balance? How does it it impact your self-image or your self-expression and your partnerships? And these are going to be some deep contemplative questions that you're going to walk with. And as you dig into them, you may notice a lot of details. You may notice that little things have led to big things. Our big things need to be broken down so you can understand them in a different capacity. And you have the ability to do all of this, Gemini. You have the ability to see both sides of everything that comes up this week. Now, the full moon in Virgo is very much focused on your foundations. This may be something close to your actual home or just where you feel at home in your life. And you want to celebrate whatever you love that is illuminated here. And things that are illuminated that you don't like, I don't want you to be hard on yourself because sometimes Virgos can be very hard on themselves. Like I should have done this. There shouldn't be any shouldas. It should be, I'm going to, or now I know, now that I know this, I'm so grateful for that lesson. Now that I know this, this is what I'm going to do going forward. 
Now, we also have a little bit of edgy energy for you, and it's not as public, but it's still going to be potent. So you have a lot of compassion and drive and heart happening around your convictions and that new direction, getting your message out there into the world. And this energy is an intense conversation with something that you've been building behind the scenes. It's very private, something that feels comfortable to you. And you're not really sure how you can chase this new horizon and still honor who you are on a subconscious level or still honor that inner comfort zone that you have on your own. And there is a middle way that you're going to have to work with, but you're going to have to stay curious. You're going to have to look at both sides in order to find it. Honor who you are, but lean into that growing edge. And you're going to find a lot of success this week. I do hope you have a great one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Cancer. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Cancer, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, convictions and new horizons, two, local vibes and communication, and three, transitions in your dreams and network that you're a part of. So let's talk about why. Now, there's a lot of concentrated energy for you around sharing a message with a larger audience or a new direction, what you're passionate about and how to get there. And this week, as Mercury moves into this same area, you may notice that you don't need a lot of words, but you have a lot of intuition. You have a lot of gut feelings that you can follow, and that's great. I want you to lean into that and use that energy. There's going to be a lot of ideas that come in all at once, so take your time with them. Now, the good news is that you do have this Saturn energy in the same neighborhood. It's a great time to think about what boundaries that you have, what practices that you have that are supporting you, and which ones that maybe need to be dissolved so you can put healthier ones in place that support both sides. Now, speaking of dialing into the details, what's working and what's not working, We do have a Virgo full moon this week that's going to be opposing this same concentrated area. And this full moon is going to help you see how little things lead to a lot of great change, a lot of transition, where sometimes you don't think like anything's working and all of a sudden you see these great returns. Celebrate anything that you like in this local environment, how you communicate with others, how it impacts your partnerships and your dreams. Celebrate the little things. That's a great way to use this energy. Now, at the same time, you can notice things that you're not a huge fan of and work towards changing those in the coming weeks. Now, the edgy feeling that you're going to be working with this week is interesting because it's a little bit behind the scenes. It's a little bit on a public persona. So behind the scenes, you have a lot of drive and you have a lot of heart, especially when it comes to transitions, deep, intimate relationships, shared wealth. And that energy is activating something that has to do with a network or group of friends or even a dream that you already have. And you're trying to understand how this transition that you're growing through, this intimate relationship, something you're doing behind the scenes that's private, is going to play out when you bring it into the public level. You're trying to honor the tradition or what's already working and expanding and growing. Like, don't, if it's not broke, don't fix it. But you also have this great idea that's very innovative that could change things even better. I think you'll find a perfect middle road. You just have to ask a lot of questions and follow that intuition. Do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Leo. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Leo, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, shared wealth and transformation, two, values, and three, your partnership and your reputation. Now, let's talk about why. Now, you still have a lot of concentrated energy happening behind the scenes when it comes to shared wealth or transformation and those really deep private relationships. Now, this week, as Mercury moves into that area, you may notice that you're thinking clearer about these topics, but you may also realize that you don't need a lot of words. There's a lot of intuition and gut feelings that you can lean on. And right as this energy happens, there's going to be a surge of ideas, a surge of emotion. I just encourage you to take your time with them. We don't have to follow all of those intuitions all at the same time. Now, thankfully, you do have Saturn in the same area. So structures, foundations, what really can we grow with? Which of these ideas or intuitions have the ability to bring us long-term stability and build into that relationship might be questions that you ask. What boundaries need to be dissolved? Which ones should you put in place? And you may also notice that you're focused on the details, especially around matters of wealth. We have a full moon in Virgo that is highlighting your individual wealth, your resources, what's important to you and why it's important to you. And this is a time to celebrate how little things lead to a lot, a big change overall. It's not a time to be down on yourself about like, I wish I would have done it that way instead, because no one is perfect. Everything that you are doing in your life is part of a process. It's an unfolding lesson. So you want to celebrate what's working and then make plans to change things that maybe aren't working as well. 
Now, there is a little bit of public tension or more outwardly focused energy that you're working with this week. So you have a lot of courage and drive and heart and passion when it comes to your partnerships, your one-to-one connection, how this flows into your daily routines and your dream. And that energy is a little bit at a tense point into something that's always worked for you when it comes to your reputation, your sense of purpose, your authority, or the authority figures that you have in your life. And you may have a partner with a really great idea, or you and this partner together come up with some crazy fun ideas, but you're not really sure how that's going to play into your public brand or how people know you. And I think that there is a middle ground that you can find here. You don't want to throw out one in lieu of the other one. You want to work with both of them together. So think about the short and the long term, because these two principles that you're working with have been established for a long time. And finding a way to merge them is not something that's going to come overnight. The answer is always in the details and great intention and healthy boundaries will help you get there. I hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Virgo. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Virgo, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, partnerships, two, your independence and self-expression, maybe something with your brand, three, your rituals and new directions. Where do I go from here? Now, let's talk about why. Now, this is a full moon and it is highlighted in your sign, which means that your individuality, your partnerships, your vitality and your partnerships are going to be heightened key points in your life this week, which will automatically bring in your overall homework, life balance and really every place in between. Now, before the full moon, we do have Mercury moving into the area of your life that supports your one-to-one connections, that communication style, the dream that you have. There's going to be a lot of intuitive energy that comes in with this shift. You're going to be able to think about things in a new way. And what's great about it is there's going to be a flood of ideas that come in. And I encourage you to write them down, to sit with them. You don't have to chase every one of them, but they all have the, but each of them have potential. And to help you understand where that potential is, we have this great Saturnian energy that you're already working with when it comes to the area of your life. It's a good time to think about what boundaries you have, which ones need to be fortified or dissolved or rethought of, reinvented in a way that supports all sides. Now, the full moon energy is in your sign. It's a great time to celebrate something that you have been doing. You are very good at noticing the details, staying organized, very good at your rituals. And that energy is starting to pay off. And whatever you see that comes forth that you love, I want you to celebrate it. And please don't be hard on yourself on anything that you don't like or any high emotions that are maybe elevating something that you would rather not have elevated. The invitation is now that you see it, make a change in the coming weeks. That's that's all you have to do with that energy. We also have a little bit of an edgy energy that we're working with this week or an activating energy. And it comes to these two areas that you are already focused on in your life. It has to do with what you do in service to others, the work that you do day in and day out. And where are you going from here? What does that new horizon look like? There could be a balance of, you know, this is what I have to do, but this is where I'm going. Or I really want to go out into the world and explore or teach or share my knowledge with other people, but I'm not really sure how I can change that in my daily routine. Because there's a lot of brilliant ideas that you have, a lot of heart and a lot of courage when it comes to that work, those daily rituals that you have. But there's something that you've always done when it comes to your convictions or how you share your messages or that's already growing and expanding. You're not really sure how you can change the two of those. But there is a middle road that you can find. There's a way to take that innovative, progressive thought and weave it into something that you have already been building that really supports those personal beliefs and that ambition and goal that you have. You just have to look for that answer and it's likely in the details, which you are great at unpacking and finding. With that being said, I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Libra. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Libra, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, your rituals, the work that you do in service to others day in and day out, those habits. Two, inner work, something behind the scenes on a subconscious level. And three, your passions, what you love without conditions and deep transformational relationships. Now, let's talk about why. Now, this week, you have a lot of energy still focused on your rituals, the habits that you have day in, day out, and how they impact your overall health and wealth. And this week, as Pisces moves into that area, you may find that you're thinking about your approach in a different way. There's a more of intuitive hits about what you need to change or adjust. I encourage you to lean into that. And when you first have that flood of ideas, know that you don't have to chase all of them. Just work with the ones that are really going to serve you, not only in the short term, but in the long term. 
And thankfully, you do have Saturn in this conversation when those ideas flood in. So finding a good structure of this is what would really support us now and in the long term is likely. You may also be looking at some healthy boundaries that you need or maybe some ones that need to be dissolved. It goes both ways so that every side of your life is well supported. Now, opposing this energy is the full moon in Virgo. And this full moon is happening in a very subconscious, private area of your life. And you may be celebrating a great ending and therefore a great beginning all at the same time. And it's a great time to reflect on how a lot of little steps led to this big move that you're getting ready to make. Definitely celebrate the wins. Anything that you don't like, you have plenty of time to adjust in the coming weeks. It's just the awareness that you need right now. Now, we do have a little bit of tension or activation that we're working with as well this week, and it's concentrated on what you love without condition. These are people, places, things, children of the mind, children themselves, and there is heart and there is courage focused in this area of your life. And this energy is forward thinking, it's progressive, and it's activating this area that you've been focused on as well for a long time that has a lot to do with shared wealth, deep, intimate relationships, going through a transformation and ending and beginning all at the same time. And you're wondering how you can take this innovative idea that you have and also activate it or bring it into this deep transformation that you're going through. And it's a little bit at edge because one thing feels safe and one thing is unknown, but there is a way to blend the two of these. There's a way to take action and not overreact to certain things that come up with this energy. And it could be a little bit tense at times because it has to do with things that are close to your heart. It has to do with a legacy that you're a part of or a very our relationship is very deep and very rich. So take your time with this. We don't want to rebrand everything. We want to do what you do best. And that's find harmony and balance between these two points. All right. With that being said, I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Scorpio. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Scorpio, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, your passions and your creativity, something you love without condition. Two, the dreams that you have or the allies that you have. And three, your roots, something close to your home and the partnerships, the one-to-one connections that you have. So let's talk about why. Now, this week, Mercury is moving into a fellow water sign. So the intuition that you already naturally have should amplify. Those gut feelings that you follow should amplify. And at first, it could feel like a flood of information, a flood of downloads that you're working with. Take your time with those. You want to follow ones that you can work with now, but also in the long term. The good news is Saturn is part of this conversation because Saturn's hanging out in the same area with Mercury and the sun. So this is a good time to think about what boundaries that you need, which ones that you need to dissolve, what due diligence that you do every day, what little things are leading to a big thing in your life. It's a good time to consider all of that. Now, speaking of little things, we do have a full moon in Virgo this week that's amplifying a dream that you have, a network that you're a part of, maybe something that has to do with your local environment, how you communicate, and your partnerships. This is a great time to celebrate how paying attention to the details has led to something great. Celebrate the wins. Now, if there's something that comes to light that you're not a fan of, you just want to note it, you want to take in the awareness to make the changes in the future. We don't want to be hard on ourselves about this energy. We want to feed what is working. Now, there is a little bit of tension that you may feel on a more public side of your life, something that has to do with your home and your partnerships. And the tension is that you're not a big fan of change in general, especially when it comes to your home and your partnerships. And these two areas have been through a lot of change in recent years. But now your heart and your courage and your drive is right there at your home saying, you know what, it's time to make a change in this way. I want to really think outside of the box and do it this way going forward. But you may not have a partner that's on the same page as you. Your partner might be saying, you know what? This has always worked for us and we are actually making headway. Can you see all the numbers? Can you see the balance? Everything's been growing and expanding. We need to keep going in this direction. And so what you're trying to do is find a middle ground between these two points. You want to bring in those progressive ideas. that are a little bit out of the ordinary because they're going to support the growth that you and your partner are already working on. And that's something that you're going to have to negotiate a little bit this week. You don't want to push the envelope too far to one side or the other, but appreciate that there needs to be a conversation about it. And I think if you do that, you pay attention to the details and you celebrate what is working, follow your intuition, you're going to have a lot of success. I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Sagittarius. Let's take a look at your week. 
Now, Sagittarius, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, your foundations and your home life, two, your reputation and the work that you do day in and day out, and three, communication, your local environment and the rituals and the habits that you have. So let's talk about why. Now, this week, you already have a concentrated energy when it comes to your home and your foundations, the root system of every area of your life, but it could be your actual home as well. Now, this week, as Mercury moves in and meets with the sun, you may notice a shift in the way that you think or that you hear or understand people around you. There's going to be more of an intuitive energy, an energy where you don't really need a lot of words to communicate to know that you're on the same page. And that could bring in a lot of good, healthy downloads about what needs to change or how can we change this. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to chase every one of those seeds. Just note the ones that you really want to work with now and keep following that path. Now, Saturn in this same area of your life is going to give you a lot of structure and foundation when it comes to those ideas, but you may be invited to look at healthy boundaries that you need or ones that need to be dissolved or what systems or structures can really help us be more compassionate about this foundational area of our life so that this same energy can be felt in all areas of our life. Now, opposing this energy, we have a full moon in Virgo. This is going to illuminate your reputation, your career, how you're known in the world, and really flood into every corner, your partnerships, your individuality. This is a great time to celebrate how all the little things that you have done have led to a success. There is a success there to be celebrated. I want you to find it and just, you know, put it on a pedestal. Now, at the same time, Virgo does like to notice the details that aren't working as well. Anything that you notice this week that is not something that is up to par, I don't want you to focus on that. Again, we want to focus on the win. We want to be aware of what's not working and move towards making healthy changes, but focus on the wins. And we also have a little bit of tension that we're going to be working with this week that could be a little hard to overlook because it's going to kind of be right there in your path and those daily habits, the ritual that you have or the work that you do. The thing is your communication style or something in your local environment, you have a lot of heart and a lot of courage right there in that area that's focused and it's, it's ready for change. It's ready to to move outside of the boundaries that it's within. However, you're really comfortable when it comes to the work that you are doing now in service to others, some kind of ritual or habit that you have. You've actually seen some growth and some expansion in this area, and you're trusting that steady expansion to build into something else, which it will. But there's a little bit of an activation between these two points. You want to take what feels safe, what you have already invested in, And then bring in a little bit more of these ideas that will help you lean into the edge of your comfort zone. And this action will help bring in some healthy changes in this area that doesn't override one or the other. We don't want to completely change what we're doing. We just want to expand on the ideas to have a bigger vision of how this can look in the short term and in the long term. With that being said, I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Capricorn. Let's take a look at your week. Now, this week, your top three focuses are going to be one, local vibes and communication, two, new horizons and your convictions, and three, your values and what you're passionate about. Now, let's talk about why. Now, this week, we have Mercury moving into an area of your life that will highlight how you communicate day in and day out, who you speak to. And this energy is meeting up with where the sun and Saturn already are. So there's this illumination. There's a lot of intuitive hits where you may find that you don't have to say a lot to get your message across or your intuition is leading you to how you can convey your message and maybe in a more poetic way, a way that connects with people right there at their souls. This is also a great time to consider what has been working, any changes that you want to make going forward. Now, we also have a full moon opposing this energy, and that has a lot to do with getting your message out to more people, to publishing, your conviction, what that new horizon looks like. It's a good time to celebrate how the little things that you've done day in and day out are leading to this big full moon celebration. And we want to focus on what is working. We want to really amplify that. And under these same moonbeams, you may notice what is not working. The little, if I had done this detail, then this would be different. And we don't want to be hard on ourselves for that. We just want to be aware of something that we would like to change going forward and then work toward that change. Now, we also have a little bit of tension that we're working with this week. And for you, this isn't a sensitive area for every Capricorn. It has a lot to do with your values, what's important to you and your resources, but also what you're passionate about, what you love without condition. Those could be people, places, things, or your entrepreneurships. And the thing is, when it comes to your values, what's important to you, you have some innovative ideas. There's a lot of courage and heart here. You're thinking a little bit outside the box, thinking about how can I invest or 
how do I feel this way if I, if I tried this edge or go at it a new way, a progressive new way? The thing is, something that you're passionate about, that you have grown, that you have cherished, is showing a very steady growth. And you're trying to figure out how to work with these two. And you're not going to be able to merge them. You're going to have to find a way to let them both activate each other. Bring in some of that traditional, like, yes, this is, this is working slow and steady into the value system you have. And also bring in those progressive ideas into that passionate energy that you're building. It's a little bit of a merging. And using your systems and your structure and your way of thinking about how can I build this empire will help you work with this energy in a powerful way. With that being said, I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Aquarius. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Aquarius, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, your resources, two, your vitality, your self-expression, and three, your roots, something close to your home or the foundational area of your life. Now, let's talk about why. Now, you still have a lot of concentrated energy when it comes to what your values are, your earning power, your self-esteem, and even your skill sets. Now, this week, as Mercury joins the party, joins where the Sun and Saturn are already working, you may notice that your approach is a little bit different, or at least the way that you think about this matter is adjusting. You'll have intuition that you can pull from, and you'll also find that you don't need a lot of words to express what's important to you. It's more so feeling your way, like, this makes me feel good. So this is what is of value to me. This is what is important to me. Now, opposing this energy, we have a full moon. And this full moon is amplifying a legacy that you're a part of, a transformation you've been going through, a deep, intimate relationship. And it's definitely something to celebrate. This is a point in your life where a lot of little investments are paying off to something really big. And I want you to celebrate whatever that is, even if it's just a personal transformation. That is by no means a small thing. It's something very huge that you want to note that you are working through. Now, at the same time, you may notice that there's some details that you want to change. And it's okay to be aware of them and note, I'm going to change this. We don't want to concentrate on that. We want to concentrate on the big wins. That's going to help you follow your intuition. It's going to help you understand what boundaries you need, which ones needed to be dissolved so you can move forward. Now, there's a little bit of a tension that comes in this week, and it's not an unfamiliar area of your life that you're working with because you are really focused on your vitality, your self-expression, your unique ability to stand out as an individual and go towards that edge that says, this is who I am to the world. And right now, you may be finding that this is counteractive or it's activating in one way or another something at your foundation, something at your roots or your home. Now, the thing is, you whatever is there at the foundational level ha- is showing a lot of growth, a lot of opportunity as well. It's slow, it's steady. There's a beauty to it. But there's also this unknown edge that you're trying to bring into your life. Now, the thing is, neither one of these sides needs to overrun the other. They just need to inspire each other. Your individuality should inspire the foundational level of your life. And by doing this, you'll be able to find a way to nurture the growth that you have, use that courage, use that heart that you have to plant some powerful seeds that will branch out into every area of your life and help you work through this powerful transformational season that you are in right now. With that being said, I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I do hope you found some tips and insights. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you can find this podcast in the future. You can also connect with me at schedulingfate.com. I look forward to seeing you there and next time.